Hey, y'all know who this is. I'm walking outside once again here at Onondaga Lake. Let me just show you briefly behind me so you can see. That's what I'm talking about. And there's nobody out here. I saw one lady running with a dog and that's about it. It's an overcast day. It's been drizzly. I've got a break and I decided to do a quick video. You know, lately there seems to be all these things where people want exactly what they want and they're demanding that these politicians or other people do it exactly and immediately. And this one's gonna be dicey, but go with me on this. You know, we have the Black Lives Matter uh, campaign that's going on and obviously I'm gonna support the Black Lives Matter campaign because I'm black and I got a life. But here's the thing. This guy, Bernie Sanders, I don't really know anything about him. And when he got out there and he said all lives matter, people jumped on him. And okay, initially I understood that because there always seems to be marginalization of issues when it applies to black people. That's just the reality. Now, after someone basically told him why the Black Lives campaign was a big deal, he understood it. Yet, people keep going around disrupting what he has to say. Same thing now is happening with Hillary Clinton. She not only has to deal with this Black Lives Matter thing, which had nothing to do with her initially, but now she's getting beaten up over this email thing. You know, it's amazing that Harry Truman, way back when, said that you can set up the big lie and as long as people say it enough times and say it loud enough, they can start convincing everyone else that it's true. And you know, it's, it's real. I mean, my goodness. I just see these things happening all over the place. Uh, I almost hate to go here, but you know what? It's almost the same thing for Trump. Now, this guy is show business. We all know that. And he's saying all these things. But let's look at the guy's history. And this guy is, I mean, how can he be a racist? I mean, his, his, his family is, is all foreign. I mean, his first wife was foreign, his current wife is foreign. So he's just a huckster. He's saying these things for attention and then he's getting other people to jump in. I mean, Scott Walker has been looking ridiculous and Lindsey Graham's been looking ridiculous because they're all trying to live up to Trump. We're all trying to live up to Jerry Springer. We're all trying to live up to Morton Downey Jr. And at a certain point, Folks just gotta calm down and get more realistic with how everything is and fight for what really matters. Um, just battle with gun control. You know, I'll tell you the truth. I'm for gun control, but I'm not gonna go and protest Walmart and anyone else for, you know, selling guns. That's just stupidity. And I am definitely pro-choice. But if I wasn't, I'm not gonna go anywhere and protest against women who have to make certain decisions because you know what, I'm not a woman. It's not my decision. So, you know, we just need a little bit more moderation and do some education. And if we can get to those points, then we can pretty much take care of everything else. At least that's my thought on it as I fade in <laughs> light and darkness all the time. Sure, this is not a problem everyone else has, is it? So that's my story. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are we a society now where we need to have exactly what we want immediately for every single thing? Or is there still a place and time where we can take some time to do a little education, to have a little moderation, to basically say, let's see if we can get the, you know, something for everybody. May not be perfect, but that's how government used to work. That's how life used to work. Y'all know who I am, you take care.